Far Cry 6 explodes onto the scene on October 7th, when you'll get to explore the beautiful island nation of Yara, battle the forces of maniacal dictator Anton Castillo, and discover new ways to experience Far Cry. Far Cry 6 introduces features that take the series in new directions, like new storytelling methods, highly unorthodox superweapons, an all-new gear system, and more. Here's a look at six ways Far Cry 6 is shaking up the formula. For starters, there's protagonist Danny Rojas. Past Far Cries have switched between silent and voice protagonists, but they've all had one thing in common. You almost never see your character. Far Cry 6 changes that by pulling the camera out to a third-person perspective during cutscenes and when you're in friendly camps. Now, not only can you see Danny, but she or he is fully voiced and customized depending on the gear you have equipped. The cinematics bring a new level of depth and humanity to the story, and it's easier to care about Danny when you see them evolve from a military washout turned refugee, to a reluctant gorilla, to a one-person revolution. Speaking of Danny, one of the more subtle but wonderful additions to Far Cry 6 comes with the music that plays over the radio, which Danny sometimes sings along to. Who among us is immune to a little car karaoke? Talking about customization brings us to gear, and in Far Cry 6, it's not just for show. You can outfit Danny with head, chest, leg, foot, and wrist gear, each of which carry new buffs, perks, and abilities to fit your playstyle. For example, equip the Scrounger helmet and you'll be able to see loot through walls. The Rioter vest gives you added protection against armor-piercing rounds, and parkour shorts give you a speed boost after you slide. There are shoes that let you resist knockdown attacks, chest pieces that silence your movements, and much more. Some of the gear serves very specific purposes. For example, seasoned Far Cry players know that being reckless with a flamethrower is a sure way to set yourself on fire, as well as your surroundings. Luckily, a pair of Fuego mitts minimize burns by automatically putting out any flames if you happen to catch fire. If your playstyle leans toward creating infernos, these gloves come highly recommended. Remember how I said Danny appears in cutscenes however you choose to outfit them? Well, good news for all you fashionistas out there. If you love the bonuses of a piece of gear, but it doesn't quite match the aesthetic you're going for, you can swap visuals between any two pieces of the same category gear that you've acquired to get the stats you want and the looks you need. Like Danny's gear, weapons in Far Cry 6 can be bought from special dealers or looted, uh, liberated, sorry, from caches scattered around the world. Once you get your hands on him, you just need a workbench, the right resources, mostly it's scraps of metal and gunpowder, and a little Rezelber spirit to adapt them for a variety of specialized purposes. That old rifle you found might do the job well enough on its own, for example, but what if you tricked it out with armor-piercing rounds, a makeshift suppressor, and a magnifying scope? Now it's an essential tool for staying hidden while punching through the helmets of all the armored guards patrolling a prison camp. Far Cry 6 also introduces highly specialized ammo as part of its weapon mod system, and that goes beyond armor-piercing rounds, which, by the way, can make short work of guards with helmets and flak jackets. Unarmored enemies can be taken down efficiently with soft target rounds, while blast rounds let you turn conventional firearms into tank killers. Poison rounds can damage health over time and might drive enemies to attack each other, and incendiary rounds can light enemies on fire, which is especially useful against the soldiers spraying highly flammable poison. Enemy soldiers tend to use the ammo they're strong against. Armored guards will shoot soft target rounds, for example, and unarmored guards will use armor-piercing rounds. Don't worry about keeping a varied stock of ammo on hand, though. Any bullets that come out of a poison-modded gun, for example, will be poison bullets, so it's more a matter of making sure you have the right gun for the job at hand. Each firearm has different upgrade slots that vary from weapon to weapon, but include muzzle attachments, optical or pointer mounts, and even different ammo types. Some weapons also feature slots for special mods that add passive buffs like improving reload speed or letting you move more quickly while aiming and you can customize them with new paint jobs and even dangling charms. Since Danny's able to equip up to three full-sized weapons and a sidearm, you can carry a small arsenal customized for any situation and target. Quiet or loud, armored or unarmored, infantry or tanks. 
Of course, you'll probably want to reserve one of those slots for a Resolver weapon. Resolver weapons are jury-rigged monsters that pack a massive punch and are most useful in extreme situations. El Muro, for example, combines a heavy shield with a revolver shotgun, while the Zeusito packs an EMP burst that, depending on how long you charge it before releasing the trigger, can stun an enemy, explode an enemy, or take down a chopper with one well-aimed blast. Rizzle bear weapons may showcase the resourcefulness of guerrilla fighters, but why use a nail gun to get the job done when you can use a back-mounted rocket launcher? Created by guerrilla spy master Juan Cortez, Supremos are wearable pieces of equipment that allow you to customize your playstyle even more. It all starts with uniquely devastating active abilities. Want to disable a security system? Equip the Volta Supremo and unleash the El Impulso EMP ability. If you find yourself swarmed with enemies, the Furioso Supremo's Fuego Loco ability unleashes an explosive ring of fire all around you and gives you an air dash to jump further or escape tricky situations. These powerful active abilities operate on a cooldown timer and can be charged by causing chaos. Supremos also let you equip standard mods and gadgets. Standard mods customize things like your throwable carrying capacity, your Supremo's recharge modifiers, and the power and range of its effect. Gadgets include throwables like Molotov cocktails and grenades for dealing damage, or EMP grenades to take out security cameras and vehicles. No matter how you choose to play Far Cry 6, there's a Supremo for you. Of course, improvised guns and back-mounted superweapons will only carry you so far. If you want something that can carry you anywhere, you want a horse. Sure, there's an assortment of vintage cars, trucks, and motorcycles all over Yara, and after your first few missions, you'll even get an armored, customizable sedan that you can summon at any time. But guess what? You can't pet an armored sedan, and they don't cut as majestic a figure while you're riding them across high cliffs. In fact, driving 1950-style honkers across cliffs is probably ill-advised in general. They're also not great for navigating steep mountainsides or dense forests, and while you can drive them across Yara's more uneven, rockier terrain, it'll be a rough ride. This is where horses come in. Nimble, sure-footed, pettable. Horses are often the best solution for getting around Yara's dusty back roads in a hurry, and their ability to go places most vehicles can't makes them a great way to reach hidden rebel hideouts and haunted caves. They're also surprisingly strong and durable, so be careful where you point one if you don't want it to smash through an object or person. Best of all, horses are everywhere. You can steal one from a mounted army officer, for example, or find them just hanging out near villages. You can also go to a marked horse pickup point to summon one, and if you take a shine to a horse you found in the world, you can even bring it to one of these pickups to save it for later. Yes, you can! Yes, you can! And if you ever want to ditch your four-legged ride for a four-wheeled one, you can, seamlessly and lethally. Even your enemies behave differently this time. Castillo's forces may be brutal, but that doesn't mean they're always out for blood. In fact, a lot of them won't even start shooting unless you give them a reason to, like, say, getting too close to them, with a weapon in your hands. A key part of being a gorilla is being able to blend in amongst the civilian population, and in Far Cry 6, that's as easy as keeping your guns holstered and safely out of view. So long as you're not holding a firearm, trespassing in a restricted area, or otherwise acting suspiciously, Castillo's soldiers usually won't pay you any mind. Although, given how many of them are escorting prisoners or brutalizing villagers, you might want to pay them some mind. Also, not all of Castillo's troops are true believers. Some are just in it to feed their families. And if you can identify these would-be double agents and approach them with a bribe, they might clue you into valuable resources, mission opportunities, and other cool stuff that's worth a few pesos. I appreciate it. This is just a taste of what's waiting for you in the oppressed tropical nation of Yara when Far Cry 6 launches on October 7th for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, PC, Stadia, Amazon Luna, and as part of a Ubisoft Plus subscription. Get ready to unite guerrilla factions, wield absurdly powerful improvised weapons, and fight your way back to the capital city of Esperanza to finally restore freedom to its people. For more on Danny Rojas, Libertad, and their explosive struggle to unseat Anton Castillo, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Hell of a fireworks show!